everyone, and happy Earth Day. Today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and to celebrate, let's talk about creation. Genesis chapter 1 outlines the story of creation, how God, day by day, formed each and every part of our universe. So on day 1, God created the light and the dark and the heavens and the earth, starting in verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. On the second day, God created the sky, starting in verse 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. On the third day, God created the dry land, plants, and seas, starting in verse 9. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the Lord brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. On the fourth day, God created the stars, the moon, and the sun, starting in verse 14. And God said, Let there be lots in the firmament of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. And let them be for lots in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lots, the greater lot to rule the day, and the lesser lot to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. On the fifth day, God created flying animals and sea life, starting in verse 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. On the sixth day, God created land animals and people, starting in verse 24. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. 
And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day, God rested. The story of creation is one of love. God used his power to create a beautiful world for us. There will be people that tell you we came from nothing, that everything just happened, but don't believe them. Just take a look outside. Take a moment to examine, and we see that everything is by design. The beautiful trees and plants that follow photosynthesis, each little animal that creates a home for its family, the way the sun rises and sets. God's handiwork can even be seen within us. He fashioned us in his own image. He created each part and designed them to work together. Then he placed us in this earth and gave us the free will so we could choose to worship him. Even though we fell, he fashioned a plan of redemption for us. Nothing is by accident. Every day, every moment, every good thing, and every bad. It is all part of an amazing plan that is beyond our comprehension. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Keep trusting, and I'll see you next week.